Airbus's A220 series has recently been at the center of attention as the European plane maker plots its next steps with the ever popular series that has really taken a hold of our industry in the past couple of years. Much discussion has surrounded a potential stretch of the A220-300. This new variant has been dubbed by many the A220-500. It's a variant that would better solidify the plane as a global airline's prime choice. However, that has reportedly not been finalized per the chief executive officer at Airbus as said in Toulouse. The finalization is in reference to the aircraft. While not finalized, the aircraft manufacturer has a solid appetite for further developing a larger A220 model. This indicates that they are close to completing the design and more on the plane to eventually push it out to the industry and their customers. Since acquiring the A220 series from Bombardier when it was formerly known as the C series, Airbus has benefited thanks to Boeing's lack of competition. While Embraer is an ever looming threat, Airbus is lucky that it can essentially capture a significant portion of the market share. Moreover, as Boeing has no plans for a new airliner anytime soon, Airbus does believe that stretching the A220 gives it one up on its competitor Boeing and makes the A220 more attractive for respective niches that the aircraft may or may not be looking to fill. Airbus says they're currently in discussion with customers over a stretched A220. Communicating with customers allows all parties to be directly involved in an open dialogue over a new aircraft. This is commonly seen when plane makers study new variants or a clean sheet design, as it will typically yield better results at launch, as those customers feel involved and will potentially place commitments as the aircraft may have been worked specifically to their liking. Famously though, Qantas was involved in the 777 design work, but has never operated a 777. While Airbus wants to move ahead with a stretched A220 and looks to be finalizing it, the company still has problems impacting production and delivery. It would not make sense to move forward at a time when difficulties are already experienced. This will be an essential factor to consider for executives before they move forward with the dubbed A220-500. Comments on the DJ's aviation website, which you can go and read if you'd like, made interesting points regarding a further stretched A220's purpose in the industry. Some say that the risk of the A220-500 could be that it will cannibalize the A320, essentially for better words, causing the own downfall of their own aircraft sooner than maybe they had initially expected. Some counter that by saying that the A320 series has to end at some point and does need a natural replacement as well, while others counter even that point and say the A220-500 isn't intended as a true replacement for the A320 and it will stand alone carving out its own path. I'd love to hear your thoughts by jumping in on the discussion in the YouTube comments. Very much appreciate your support. I hope you've been enjoying the content this week and stay tuned for this upcoming weekend where more content will eventually release. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time.